from Harwood Elementary School Library where all of the books have been packed. Can you see my empty shelves? The books have been packed into boxes and we're getting ready to get new carpet and paint. So ooh, when you come back, it's gonna be beautiful. I have a very special person reading to you today and it'll be this book right here. The Day the Crayons Quit. What a crazy and silly book this is. Mrs. Webb is going to be reading this to you, but stick around afterwards because I will be reading this book to you. So I hope you guys enjoy it. The Day the Crayons Quit by Drew Daywalt. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. To Duncan. Hey Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizard hats, but it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Duncan, Gray Crayon here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants, and I know that elephants are gray, but that is a lot of space to color in all by myself. And I don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things. Such, a bi such big animals. Baby penguins are gray, you know. So are very tiny rocks, pebbles. And how about some of, and how about one of those once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, gray crayon. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as the page you are using me on, white. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or to fill the empty space between the other things, and it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, white crayon. It says white. Cat in the Snow by Duncan. Hi Duncan, I hate being used to draw the outline of things. Things that are colored in by other colors, all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw nice beach ball and then fill out the colors and then fill in the colors of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, Black Crayon. Dear Duncan, as Green Crayon, I am writing for two reasons. One is to say I like my work, loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problems and wish to congratulate you on a very successful Coloring Things Green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends yellow crayon and orange crayon who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel that they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, green crayon. Dear Duncan, yellow crayon here. I need you to tell orange crayon that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we are no longer speaking, and I can prove I'm the color of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color the sun in your Happy Farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page seven. 
You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on, on a field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true color of the sun, yellow crayon. Dear Duncan, I see yellow crayon already talk to you. The big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know I am clearly the color of the sun because on Thursday, you used me to color the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper pages in your day at the zoo coloring book. Orange, you glad I'm here? Ha, your pal and the real color of the sun orange crayon. Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color this past year and the year before and the year before that. I have really enjoyed those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I am so short and stubby I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. Duncan, okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I am a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I in her little princess. Oh, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color in her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now back to us. Could you please use me some lime to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. Hey Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help, your naked friend, Peach Crayon. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color, and of course he wanted his crayons to be happy, and that gave him an idea. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring. And an A plus for creativity. The Day the Crayons Came Home by Drew Daywalt and Oliver Jeffers. One day, Duncan and his crayons were happily coloring together when a strange stack of postcards arrived for him in the mail. Dear Duncan, not sure if you remember me. My name is Maroon Crayon. You only colored with me once to draw a scab, but whatever. Anyway, you lost me two years ago in the couch then your dad sat on me and oh, broke me in half. I never would have survived had Paperclip not nursed me back to health. I'm finally better, so come get me. And can Paperclip come too? He's really holding me together. Sincerely, your marooned crayon, maroon crayon. Dear Duncan, no one likes peas. No one even likes the color pea green. So I'm changing my name and running away to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. The crayon formerly known as pea green. Do do do. And away he goes. Hi Duncan, it's me, Neon Red Crayon. Remember that great vacation we had with your family? Remember how we laughed when we drew a picture of your dad's sunburn? Remember dropping me by the hotel pool when you left? 
Clearly you do not because I'm still here. How could you miss me? Anyway, after eight months waiting for you to come get me, I guess I'm walking back. Your left behind friend, Neon Red Crayon. Duncan, it's us, yellow and orange. We know we used to argue over which of us was the color of the sun, but guess what? Neither of us wants to be the color of the sun anymore. Not since we were left outside and the sun melted us together. You know the real color of the sun, hot, that's what. We're sorry for arguing. You can make green the sun for all we care. Just bring us home. You are not so sunny friends, yellow and orange. Duncan, Duncan's room, inside. That house there. You like the green sun they drew? Hey Duncan, I'm sure you don't recognize me after the horrors I've been through. I think I was tan crayon? Or maybe burnt sienna? I don't know, I can't tell anymore. Have you ever been eaten by a dog and puked up on the living room rug? Because I have. I have been eaten by a dog and puked up on the rug. Duncan, and it's not pretty, not pretty at all. I'm more carpet fuzz than crayon now. Can you please bring me back? Your undigestible friend, tan, or possibly burnt sienna, crayon. Dearest Duncan, um, could you please open the front door? I still need to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. Do you remember his real name? Mm -hmm. P. Green. He's ready to go. Hey, Duncan. Remember last Halloween, we told your little brother there was a ghost under the basement stairs? Then we drew scary stuff on the wall. Sure was funny when he ran screaming, right? But it wasn't so funny when you forgot to take me out of the basement. Please come get me. I'm kind of terribly horrified. Your scared friend, glow in the dark crayon. I know you guys like scary things. That didn't scare you, did it? Dear Duncan, looks like I'm almost home. Been through China, Canada, and France. I think. Just crossing New Jersey by camel now. New Jersey has giant pyramids, right? <laughs> See you soon. Neon red crayon. P.S. Next stop, the North Pole. I think. <laughs> I don't think he knows where he is, do you? Duncan. Does page eight of Pirate Island ring a bell? Kind of a big payday for Captain Greenbeard there, don't you think? And no bronze or silver in that pile, huh? I told you it'd make me blunt if you colored each coin individually, but would you listen? No. I also told you those stupid crayon sharpeners never work. Did you listen to that? Also, no. Now, I can't color anything at all. Your pointless friend, Gold Crayon. His head is stuck in the crayon sharpener. And look at all those gold co coins he had to color. No wonder he's dull. Dear Duncan, I've seen the world. It's rainy. I'm coming back. S. 
Esteban the Magnificent. He didn't get very far. He just opened the door a crack and peeked out, saw it was raining, and he's coming back. Dear Duncan, you're probably wondering why my head is stuck to your sock. A question I ask myself every day. Well, it's because last week you left me in your pocket and I ended up in the dryer. He landed on your sock and now he's stuck to my head. Can you please come get me? Also, why does everything you wear still smell even after it's washed? You're a stinky sock stucky on head buddy. Turquoise green, turquoise crayon. P.S. Sock says hi. Tell him I said hi. <laughs> Dear Mr. Duncan, I know I'm not your crayon. I know he belonged to your baby brother, but I can't take him anymore. In the last week alone, he's bitten the top of my head, ouch, put me in the cat's nose, drawn on the wall, and tried to color garbage with me. The worst part is he's a terrible artist. I can't tell what his drawings are, donkeys, Monkeys? Donkey monkeys? Picasso said every child is an artist, but I don't know. I don't think he met your brother. Please rescue me, your desperate friend, Big Chunky Toddler Crayon. Dear Duncan, Greetings from the Amazon rainforest. Making great time. I think I'm almost home. Neon red crayon. Hmm. Does that look like he's in the Amazon rainforest to you? It doesn't look like it to me either. Hello, Duncan. It's me, brown crayon. You know exactly why I ran away, buddy. Everyone thinks I get all the great coloring jobs. Candy bars, puppies, ponies. Lucky me, right? But, bet they don't know what else you used me to color, do they? I didn't think so. The rest of that drawing was great, but did it really need that final brown scribble? come back, but please, let's stick to candy bars, okay? Your, fair, your very embarrassed friend, Brown Crayon. <gasps> Bear Goes in the Woods by Duncan. Can you tell what he drew? <sighs> Duncan was sad to learn of all the crayons he'd lost, forgotten, broken, or neglected over the years. So he ran around gathering them up, but Duncan's crayons were all so damaged and differently shaped than they used to be that they no longer fit in the crayon box. So Duncan had an idea. Doo -doo -doo. He built a place where each crayon would feel at home. Look at that. That is the most epic crayon box I have ever seen. Let's see what the crayons say. There's no dogs down there, are there? Nope, no turkeys either. Oh, you flatter me. It's not real chocolate. Let's have a party. This is white crayon. You can't even see white crayon. This one is from my blue period, but it's not really blue, it's more lilac. I think that door is for us. It's a big wide double door for the melted crayons. Ah, there you are. I could use a haircut. <laughs> He's saying that to this guy who's still stuck in the pencil sharpener. 
hope there aren't metal detectors. No, I think everyone is welcome. And up here we have, make sure it's straight. And over here, uh oh, look. Do you remember what happened to Peach Crayon in the last book? Now he's got some underwear. <laughs> Can you see that? Who are you wearing? Oh, I think he goes by Ted. I'm Ted. Looks so, looks good, lads. And then in Cleveland, I got to hike the Great Wall of China. <laughs> the Great Wall of China is not in Cleveland. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed those two silly stories about the crayons. The day the crayons quit and the day the crayons came home. Have a great day. Bye-bye.